are you? It's you, all right. I'm taking you home. Can I help you, sir? I don't need your help. Where do you think you're heading? You want to take my bull home? I, I'm afraid I can't let you just walk off with our stock. I'm sure you understand. Your stock? Sonny boy, that bull cost me everything I got. <clears throat> now, you, you hurt her feelings now. We grew up with that bull, played with him as kids. He's like family does. <laughs> Sonny? Let's give Big Chief Lightfingers here something to remember us by. He was a cop and good at his job, but he committed the ultimate sin and testified against other cops gone bad. Cops that tried to kill him, but got the woman he loved instead. Framed for murder, now he prowls the Badlands, an outlaw hunting outlaws, a bounty hunter, a renegade. this because of a bull, Jimmy? Well, I gotta tell you, this must be one hell of an animal. Does it sing? Does it dance? Does it wax your car? Maybe you could take a look at my business portfolio. This look like a joke to you, Bobby. No, it doesn't look like a joke to me, Jimmy, but I gotta tell you, I made some calls, and this flying you rodeo, well, they're as clean as a whistle. I'll tell you, I saw my Lothario. Listen, how do you know for sure? I could never forget that face. I had these printed up, and I'm gonna put them out on the facts. You're offering a $25,000 reward? Lothario costs $176,000. He's the best damn stud bull in the state. I had to mortgage everything to get him. Bobby, you remember when we were dirt poor kids on the reservation, we swore we'd make something of ourselves. Yes, I do. Well, if I lose Lothario, I'm finished. The ranch, the stock, my land, it'll all be gone. Bobby, I need your help. Okay, Jimmy, you've got it. Let me see this. Good likeness, Jimmy, but can you do as well on the guys that beat you up? Little well, Sonny, would you check this out? Ooh, I guess you already have. Uh, miss, you done made yourself a conquest here. This is my good friend, Sonny. Ma'am? I'm just trying to get a beer, OK? Well, yeah, sure. Sure, that's all right. We're not saying it's Sonny. As a matter of fact, we'd like to buy you that beer. Marvin? No, 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 no. That's OK. I can buy my own beer. Come on, darling. What, are you too good for us, huh? My hamster's too good for you. Oh, sweetheart, you got a mouth on you. Get your hands off of me. Where do you want me to put him, darling? Huh? That's enough, jackass. <sighs> What'd you say? What part of jackass didn't you understand? <sighs> Dag, Sonny, he's prettier than she is. Lucky for you, Susie Q, I was brought up not to hit a lady. But... This case, 
Guess I can make an exception. trouble out of those guys. Thanks. Can I buy you a drink? I got a ride tomorrow. But thanks anyway. Okay. You guys really know how to party. And then B.D. Johnson climbed right back up on that horse, broken arm and all, and he rode her. Not for prize money. Not to get his face on a box of cereal, but to prove something. And not to those people that said he couldn't do it, <laughs> but to himself, because that's who he was. Can I have another story, please? Well, just one, honey. We got to meet you all in about 15 minutes. Now, there was this fellow in Cheyenne I ran across. He called himself Injun Joe, but he was not an Indian, and his name was not Joe. Here you are. Grandpa's been telling me amazing stories. Well, I'm sure he has. That's the only kind he knows. Never heard you complain none. <laughs> he told you about Injun Joe? That was your favorite, and it's true, too. Listen, you should see what's going on in town. They have banners across Main Street. There is a band playing. They love us here. It's better than Silver City. Can I go see Mom? Can I? Okay. Just for half an hour. I'll meet you at the truck. Yeah. At the truck, and don't go roaming around. Daddy, did I ever listen to you? Well, daughter, actually, you minded pretty well. I guess I can't blame her. Remember how excited I used to get? Never forget it. Daddy, this is so wonderful. Rodeo back on track. Thriving. I know how important this is for you. Yeah, the best thing of all is having you and Tanya here with me. I can't tell you how good that feels. You know, I better go get her before she runs away with some bull rider. See you later, hon. Heads up, this is the entry fees for the first day of our rodeo competition. You have got to be paid by 5 o'clock. Whoa! Are you okay? Sure. Are you a cowboy? <laughs> yes, I am. You don't look like the other cowboys. <laughs> well, is that good or bad? Good. I like your hair. Looks just like mine. My name's Tanya. My grandpa runs the rodeo. Hi, I'm Vince. Pleased to meet you. Paid your fees yet? Actually, I'm on my way there now. I can show you. I'd like that. You know they have fantastic ice cream cones here? Here's your number. Good luck to you. Hi there. My name's Cheyenne Phillips. I'd like to pay my fees for the barrel racing. Yes, ma'am. You've come to the right place. How much should I fill it out for? Sixty bucks, payable to the Flying U Rodeo. Well, looks like the check's not the only thing you know how to fill out. You giving away any prizes for that? Well, if we were, sweetheart, it'd be no contest. When I was a young lad, I used to own my own hot dog stand. Have you ever really sold your own hot dogs, though? Not actually me selling the hot dogs. I Forget this guy, Chris. Well, no, wait a minute. Hold on. I got some great ideas. Gentlemen, I can put you on the cutting edge of the food service industry. We think you're overqualified. Wait a minute, wait a minute, Tony. This guy might have an idea we can use. <laughs> That's excellent, gentlemen. Come on, sit down in my office. Let me show you how USDA Pride and Legendary Beef can put more dollars inside your pocket. Yes, sir. Vince Black, I'd like to pay my fees for bull riding. Sure thing. It'll be 150. Here you go. All right, thank you. Arena director, your presence.
presences requested at the bucking chute. Hey, looky here, Sonny. It's the sweetheart of the rodeo. We got something to finish here. That's enough. What are you doing? Are you crazy? Can't you control these people? What kind of men are you hiring? Oh, Miss Cross, just us cowboys amusing ourselves. This is not a joke. Now, you know the rules. Absolutely no fighting. Get back to work. We cannot have this kind of thing. And just what you plan on doing about it. No harm done. Well, I'm awfully sorry about this. Not a problem. Good. My name is Vince Black. Reba Cross. My daddy owns a rodeo. I appreciate what you did back there. Oh, I'm sure you can handle yourself. Well, I'm glad I didn't have to find out. I mean, either way, those guys could have caused some problems. Um, can I buy you dinner? I don't think so, mister. You're gonna have to let me. Why is that? It's an old rodeo custom. See, you save somebody's life, and you gotta spring for baby back ribs. What time? Seven. Okay. You don't seem like the rodeo side. Well, I was. I've been away from it for eight years now. Where'd you go? Off to college in Virginia. Then I worked in D.C. for a while, got married, had a daughter. Tanya. How'd you know that? Oh, well, she gave me the guy to tour the best ice cream spot. She's very informative. <laughs> That's Tanya. She seems like a really good kid. She's the best. I mean, even if I'm her mother, I can say that. Oh, well, you're allowed. I mean, if you don't think your own kids are great, who else will? True enough. How old are your kids? I don't have any kids. Really? I'm surprised. I mean, you, you sound like you've given children a lot of thought. Oh, I guess I have. Why'd you come back? Oh, my husband died. I'm sorry. It was pretty bad, especially for Tanya. You gonna stay? I don't know. I mean, I didn't like the idea of her growing up without a man around. And I couldn't see myself rushing to some marriage. I came back because my dad's the finest man I know, and I want her to spend some time around him. She's lucky to have you, Reba. I would do anything for her. I can see that. Hey. How about trying out some of those ribs we've been talking about? Okay. What are you doing here? Writing a check. Smoking my cigars. Get out, you little. Don't you ever do that, old man. If it weren't for me, this lame-ass rodeo would be dead and buried long ago. Maybe that would have been better for all of us. Hey, gee, Pops, if you're feeling that low down, maybe a couple shots of red eye here would help. So. Hey, 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 just thinking of you, partner. You ain't my partner. I own 25% of this Minnie Mouse operation. As far as you're concerned, that's a controlling interest. See, you just keep your eyes closed and your mouth Shut. Hey. Well, you looking for a date, Vince? Vince Black, huh? What you doing here, Vince? I lost a contact. Now, you weren't by any wild chance thinking of stealing some of our stock here, were you? <laughs> Nothing in there worth stealing. Let me ask you a question. Yeah, go ahead. How can you tell the difference between him and him? Buddy, you're one tough hombre. Any tough, Rex. Ooh, <laughs> like steel. Ah, let's see how tough he is.
Roll back in there, boys. Rex, Sonny, let him up. Now get on out of here before I lose control. Go on now. Get. Get you untied. Thanks. How's it going? I don't want to talk about it. Well, did you get the job as a stable boy? They give it to a woman. So, do you believe it? They gave it to a woman. What are you going to do? You going to call her a stable person? Is that it? It's relentless, I'm telling you. I get shot down as a ticket taker, the cotton candy maker. But, Bobby, you're a natural at this rodeo stuff. I mean, you grew up around it the rope and the ride and the cowboys in India. Well, that's why I got away from it as fast as I possibly could. But you know what really hurts? You know what really hurts in my heart? It really irks me is that hot dog thing. On spec, I devised a three phase business plan and showed it to those guys so they could quadruple their business in less than six months. Really? The condiment acquisition process is a catastrophe. They're hemorrhaging cash all over the place. I did a mustard analysis, revised their relish projections and their buns. I didn't want to get started about their buns. Men without vision. Do you see what's going on here? Do you see what is happening here? Why don't you pull it into focus for me, Colonel? Racial discrimination. They don't hire Indians. This couldn't be at all personal, could it? What, are you crazy? Perk up, here comes a date. Here I am. Look no further, sugar. Oh, yeah. Uh, let me introduce you to a cocktail I invented. What's in it? Now, that's a sworn secret, but it's guaranteed to change your life and send you to heaven. Hey, I've been looking all over for you. We need to talk. A lighter. No, wait. The buy from Colorado Springs just called. <sighs> My friends all work. He said if we don't make a delivery by Wednesday, the deal's off. All right. Then we'll make our collection a day early. I mean, we, that doesn't leave us any breathing room. But I'm the one who needs breathing room. Come on, darling. It's all right about him. Man don't know how to have fun. Unlike me. Is it? Oh, you big baby. You'll be all right, son. Don't think you broke any bones. What did you do to stir those boys up anyway? Nothing. They were just looking for a little sport. Probably all that hair of yours. I ain't never seen cowboy with hair like that, except maybe on a calf roper. <laughs> Grandpa, you... What happened to you? Well, I had a little accident while I was practicing for tomorrow. Maybe you should try a different event. Maybe you should be in bed, Missy. Yeah. Grandpa, come on. Time for stories. Not tonight, sweetie. But you promised. All right, all right. Night, honey. Good night, mm. Mom. Good night, Vince. Come on, Grandpa. You'll be all right tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Your father's quite a guy. Oh, he's an old fool, if you ask me. Taking on Lanny and his boys that way. Well, for tonight, I'm glad Alvin's just the way he is. <laughs> yeah, me too. What's Lanny all about? Well, he's, uh, I guess he's my father's partner. An uneasy partnership? Well, Lanny may be a pig, but he's turned the rodeo around. Saved it, really. How'd he do that? Well, my father started this rodeo as a way of keeping the old traditions alive. It's all he ever really cared about. But he never was much of a businessman, and he wound up getting deeper and deeper in debt. Almost lost it. That's when Lanny came along. And what exactly did he do? He bought 25%, and they used that cash to pay off the debts, and put the rodeo back on its feet financially. Does that answer your question? Yeah. A special thank you to the Victor Valley High School for coordinating our opening ceremonies this afternoon or padding the of color and glamour. Indeed, it is a pleasure to involve the youth in the area to accomplish this year this weekend. It's a just about time to take our attention down to the bucket chute for the action-packed competition for the for professional rodeo. As we go to the bucket chute, let's go to Bob Steele. Whispers the bucket horse and he's drawn. He's a top cowboy. He's a top horse. This is a match, but he's in trouble. Watch out. Hang on, Bobby. No, no, no. He's down, dead. Coming. That's him today. He's on the blue shot. Tommy Oakens is next and he's in a hurry. Whirl away is the bucket horse. Here's a horse. Here's a cowboy. A combination that might fit. You're going to have to help him. Come on, come on. Get him together. Go. Yes, yes, yes. There's the other. And our cowboy is going to count the cash. Hey, Shy. 
Any luck? Well, Lothario's just not here. There's no way you could hide a big prize breeding bull like Lothario in amongst all these scraggly buckers. Well, they probably moved him after they got Jimmy. <sighs> We're gonna have to catch him in the act, which means I gotta join their gang. How's Bobby's job search going? <laughs> Only thinking about filing a discrimination suit. Oh, that's too bad. I was kind of hoping that vendor thing would pan out. Would have loved to have seen him in that little paper hat. <laughs> Picked up anything from Lanny? Nothing penicillin can't cure. Whatever they're planning, it's going down soon. They make delivery in Colorado Springs by Wednesday or blow the deal. Colorado Springs is the next stop on their rodeo tour. Any idea what they're delivering? Huh, got a hunch. But you've got to make a move sooner, you know. We're running out of time. Besides, I can't take much more of that creep. He's talking about spending a romantic weekend together. I didn't know Motel 6 had a fantasy getaway. You think you could corral your boyfriend Lanny over there for a while? Sure. I love my job. I love my job. I love my job. Lanny Peterman, are you trying to hurt my feelings, or are you just another low-down, self-centered, miserable man? Settle down now, sugar. What's the problem? Well, you promised me you'd watch my run. And here you are, talking business and not... All right, all right, I'm just coming. Well, the barrel race is next. I know that. I do run the rodeo. Well, come on. All right. Hey, Sonny. Boy, am I glad to see you. You see, this is typical. This is what we got to talk about. You know, they're making you do all the grunt work. They're making you do all the dirty jobs that they don't want to do. Go away. Final stop on the pro tour before we head to the big final competition. It's a pleasure now. The Welcome Cheyenne Phillips Tour Rodeo Arena. Here's a little lady, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know how you can stand being around them, honestly. Knowing how they feel about you, knowing what they say about you behind your back, how can you stand it? Flesh to carry the cowgirls to the winner's circle, and this little lady has a as well. As she makes the start of the competition, here's the barrel racing. She can elect to go to the right side or the left side. I just overheard them talking. They were calling you names, Sonny, that quite frankly shocked me, hurt me for you. Names like the Beast, Pig Snout, Mouse Nose, Hog Face. Go to that second turn. Look at it. Break down, suck down, turn around, and now go. Stinky. She's got to keep them up. We're around the number three turn. Now remember, this is them talking, not me. Dog brain, manure boy, animal. I've had enough of you. <laughs> Don't let anything get between you and the finish line. That's right, Sonny. Let out the hurt. Going for home and... She's going to hold her breath along with you and I and everyone else here this afternoon. You'll be okay. In a few days. Out of her horse and her appearance here today. Ladies and gentlemen, we're checking in with our timers. The scores are coming in. Everybody here this afternoon cannot hardly stand the anticipation knowing that things are about to happen here today. The barrel race has been hot. It has been furious. Hell of a run. I think you just might take it. have brought us some of the best horses in the world. Ladies and gentlemen. Told you you wouldn't want to miss it. It's 16.20 for the cowgirl. And that's going to move her to the number one position. They're going to have us a celebration. If you will. Come on. One more counter to go this afternoon as we move to Debbie Gorman of Apple Valley, California. 150 pounds of counter, 1,000 pounds of stay or stay alive. Look out, you're in trouble. He's country. Thanks for getting clear. Vince Black is a cowboy. Rock Springs Wild is his home. 
Vince is a rookie, but it doesn't show in his bull riding ability. He's here this weekend in an attempt to earn extra points and qualify him for the final. Here he comes, ladies and gentlemen, Vince Black. Big foot is the bull. Hey, look at this man get with the program here today. Things are looking good. What a ride, what a ride. This man is in position. Oh, oh no. Things haven't turned out the way he had a plan, and he may be in trouble. Look at the Ranger bull fighters come in, ladies and gentlemen. These are different live singers. Hang on, man. Hang on. Get out, open your hand. Run, man, run. Get up, 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 Somebody messed with your rosin bag. They put black rosin in there. What does that do? Makes it like the strongest glue. Man, these clowns. Sorry, nothing personal. They're really starting to tick me off. Yeah, well, uh, I got a news flash for you. I watched Landy and Rex all day. Neither one of them went near your gear. But I know who did. Yeah, I gotta fight some balls. Get that one out! Let's go! I heard what happened. Are you all right? Yeah, I am. You disappointed? What's that supposed to mean? You rigged that accident, Reba. Were you trying to kill me or just snap my spine? That's ridiculous. A friend of mine saw you go into my rigging bag before I got on the bull. You a rustler, too? No. I think maybe you are. See, I know all about Lanny and his little game. Well, do you know that he threatened my little girl? Do you know that he found me snooping in the books and he said if anything went wrong, that something ugly would happen to Tanya? Do you know that part? No. Look, I didn't want to hurt you, Vince. I just wanted to scare you off. Please believe that. What else aren't you telling me? Are you a cop? No, I'm a bounty hunter. Helping out a friend. Lanny is rustling prize breeding bulls and using the rodeo as a cover to transport them. He alters their brands and forges their papers, and then he sells them for big money. He puts just enough cash back into the rodeo to keep it afloat. Can you prove this? No. What about your dad? Does he know what's going on? Oh, no. I am sure my dad would have no part of this. I am so scared for Tanya. Try not to worry. Nothing's gonna happen to her. I'll take care of it. I ain't gonna let him get away with what he done to Sonny. Well, get Black. You got a job to pull. Thanks for stopping by, boys. What are you doing here? You've got a problem, and I'm here to help. We, we don't got no problems. You don't have any problems, huh? Well, you're a day late and a man short. I'd say you've got a major problem. And how are you gonna help? I'm your third man. See, I'm gonna pick up the slack caused by Sonny's tragic accident. Fact is, I can do his job a hell of a lot better than he can. You don't even know what his job is. I don't need to know. And what makes you think you're better than Sonny? Two words, a brain. <laughs> Can't you do something about him? Not sure I wanna. I'm getting kinda sick of you myself. I thought Rex was a stupid one. Yes. Hang on. I'll tell you what. Come back this evening after the rodeo's over. Wait a minute, Lane, you can't be considering this. Maybe. No, he near killed Sonny. Now shut up! Round 11. I'll be there. See you then. Are you out of your mind? We can't take him on. No. Well, let me tell you something. I've seen him handle himself. I've seen him handle you pretty good, too. Playboy is the boom, and he cargill the cowboy from Fort Collins. Well, again, the cowboy is not going to have an opportunity to share a higher prize with us. Tough luck. He is a finely talented cowboy. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to remind you one more time while you're here this weekend. Hey. You're missing the bull riding. That's okay. 
Had enough rodeo, huh? Missing DC? No way. I bet you miss your dad, though. Yeah. Well, your granddaddy seems like he's a pretty great guy, too. He is. But? He's never happy, except when he's telling his stories. That's why I like to hear him so much. I like your granddad. But why is he so sad? I don't know. Could he help him, Vince? I'd never ask for anything else if he was happy. Well, I can try. Really, will you? Yeah. Come on, for ice cream. I found this store, I'll give you a triple scoop all in a row. What's this all about? Well, call it a little aptitude test. You want me to barrel race? High tech style. Excuse me, Vince. Well, now, show us what you can do. I do. You're hired. Where and when? We'll let you know. I'm really looking forward to working with you, Rex. Lanny, you must be turned loco. And what makes you think we can trust this guy? Oh, we don't need to trust him. Oh, yeah? Why? So I see the future, Rex. I should be on the psychic network, I swear. Is that right? Yep. I see it clear as day. After we finish this job, old Vince here gonna have yourself one of those horrible trail bike accidents. <laughs> Mr. Black. What time is it? It's 4 a.m. Time to go to work. All right, look, just uh, give me a couple of minutes. I get my stuff together. No, now. Look, you uh, won't be needing this. And you certainly won't be needing this. Here, put this on and let's get out of here. What are you guys going to tell me what I'm supposed to do? When you need to know? Fine. You can catch about 40 minutes sleep. We're heading deep into some grazing land. After you. Get to it, boys. Black, you grab the bikes. Rex, get the panels, build us a pen. Stuck bowls toward the pan.
It's the moment you've been waiting for. Get rid of them. Hallelujah. And put the bikes in the truck. Not quite yet, Vincey boy. See, me and Lanny was wondering what you'd look like with a hole the size of a softball in your head. I guess you already know how that feels, huh? That's funny. Oh. Oh. Now who's the clown, huh, pal? <laughs> Sis, that's what I call nice roping. <laughs> <laughs> It's him, all right. See for yourself. Lothario, where was he? 20 miles outside of town. They sold it to a breed rancher. Isn't he beautiful? Thank you, Bobby. Anytime, cousin. Anytime. Yeah, Lanny gave it all up, Daddy. What breeding stock they stole, who they sold it to, everything. And we recovered most of the money and got the bulls back to their rifle owners. Looks like you took care of everything, son, so after we pay back all the stolen money Lanny put in, we're gonna have to sell this rodeo. Nope. We found a new investor. Go on now. Who'd back us? Vince. He's putting his share of the reward money back into the rodeo. So I guess we got a new lease on things, Daddy. And we found you a new partner to handle the business in. Oh, now. I don't know about that. Even if we kept it in the family? Ain't it, Reba? You'd stay and work the rodeo with me? As long as you'll have me. Daughter. <laughs> Great. Thanks a lot, Mr. Black. What can I say? No need. Yo! <laughs> you about ready to ride that little mare? Yeah. Are you going, Vince? Uh-huh. You did it. You kept your word. I did my best. Thank you. Giant hug. Giant hug. <laughs> What do you say me and you go saddle up that little mare, huh? Come on. What do I say now? Thank you for saving my family. You don't have to say anything. Well, I hope you'll come back and check up on your investment. Oh, you can count on it. We pay a pretty high dividend. Yeah. 